Let's introduce uh, two people. Patrick Strud Strudwick, who is the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender editor at BuzzFeed, who underwent gay conversion therapy whilst filming Undercover. Welcome to you. And to Mike Davidson, director of the Core Issues Trust, the organisation which ran that seminar in London recently, and who was uh, banned two years ago from the British Psychodrama Association because, as a founder member of the Core Issues Trust, uh, you were in breach of the ethical code of both the British Psychodrama Association and the UK Council for Psychotherapy. That's correct. Thank you for coming on the programme. Isn't what you're doing effectively modern-day quackery? Certainly not. We want to be very safe. We want to be transparent. That's why we're open. We're not trying to hide anything. And what's your aim? Our aim is, is to support... We're aiming to support people who want to voluntarily move away from behaviours and feelings, if that's possible. We want to give them the option and preserve their rights and freedoms to do that. You don't call it gay conversion therapy. Why not? Well, because we're not in the business of converting people in the, in, in the sense that we're not proselytising. We have people coming from a no-faith background, a different faith background. But you, are, you, you do want them to change, don't you, in the way that you yourself believe you have changed, having had homosexual experiences in the past? It's not about our agenda or a therapist's agenda. It's about listening to the client, dealing with whatever it is that they bring on the day, and standing with them as they work out the options that are appropriate for them. Patrick, you went undercover, as I said, mm. um, so you experienced gay conversion therapy. Tell our audience what happens. Well, there's basically two approaches that these uh, supposed therapists use. Um, because they believe that homosexuality is um, an illness, a mental health condition, they believe that that comes as a result of some sort of early childhood trauma. So the first thing they do is to look into that trauma. They come into the room with the agenda that you have been damaged, you have been wounded. So they will, they will look for it until they find it. And so, for example, in my case, the therapist asked me if I'd been sexually abused. I said no. She said, I think it will be there. Um, on the other hand, they give uh, what, what could be seen as almost laughable advice to become heterosexual. So, for example, I was told to take up rugby because, of course, if you're a gay man, being in a rugby scrum is going to make you feel less gay. I was told to stand in, naked in front of a mirror, touching myself and affirming my masculinity. I was told to have weekly massages with a male ther massage therapist as a way of making me less gay. Did you have to pay for this therapy? I did indeed, and the person who gave me that advice was a psychiatrist whose name is Dr Paul Miller. And he admitted that he himself still uses gay pornography. And it's interesting to hear Mike talk about his change, but at the same time admitting that he still has homosexual tendencies. The fact is, Mike, that the audience will not know this, but I met you while I was undercover. And it was very clear to me then, as it is today, that you are simply gay as a goose and you just can't admit it. You need to come out of your deluded state, you need to accept who you are, be who you are, and stop causing harm to vulnerable gay people. Well, I think, Victoria, this is the problem that we face in Britain today. You can talk to Patrick It's directly. people putting labels on other people. I don't want to be labelled as a gay man. I've moved away from homosexual practices, and as I've continued to do that, I have found that the feelings have diminished. I think How we many do... people have you made Sorry, straight? Patrick. How many people have you made straight? Oh, there are several on their way. The, the difference between... If it works, between if it works the, then it the would work the other way, wouldn't it? If it, works, me, if it works, it would work the Patrick, other way. Patrick, the problem is, when you went undercover, how many times did you attend twice? And so once, it would have, it would one of them if I was just a stuck Skype. At it. My clients are with me for a year, at the very least. And there are always different outcomes, but I'm afraid you were out to discredit a therapist. Your goal was not about getting any therapy. You were a person who was determined to bring down a therapist. That's a, you weren't no, a client. I held a, mirror, that, I held a mirror up to what was really going on. Can if I, it in, works, in terms of the numbers... So, sorry, can I just, can, can I I just, just check cut? the numbers and then you can come back? How many, how many people do you believe you have 
changed, transformed, converted, whichever adjective you the like. The outcome to use. is always uh, various, but I am seeing at the moment about five people a week. Most of them are in therapy for at least a year. Mm. Now, and in terms many of the of them, outcome, many of them will move to a, a position of management of those feelings because they don't. It's, just it's not suppression. Can it's transformation. Some, can you give us some numbers? Uh, how many have changed? I suppose this year I would say I have seen three. But you know what? You have to wait. There's a, there's a test of time. There's a maintenance issue. We're not talking about flipping a switch, which is what the gay conversion uh, shorthand uh, terminology is all about. That's why we don't use it. We don't flip switches. This is extremely complex. If it, if and it the worked, therapy is nuanced. If conversion therapy worked... It worked it would, for me, Patrick. If it worked... Oh, really? Uh, if it worked, you would be able to uh, convert people the other way. Could you make Victoria We're Derbyshire not a lesbian? People. Could you? Could you? If that was her goal and she wanted to become a lesbian, uh, there would be therapists who would be more than happy to affirm you in your lesbian Isn't desires. Isn't that unethical? That's not Isn't that what is at. unethical? I mean, I look at the various yes, it is. professional. Yes, it is unethical. Yes, for gay affirming people not to give the full range of options both ways. You're That's a charlatan. What we need this to do. is just quackery. Can I just. You've been reduce... discredited, you've been thrown out of your professional body, and here you are still maintaining that you can make people Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. And you're, you're not even straight to yourself. It's perfectly obvious. You're just in denial. Let, let, me, let me read some. Um, uh, these are from various professional bodies around the UK. The British Association for Counselling and Psychotherapy says there's no scientific, rational or ethical reason to treat people who identify within a, range of, within a range of human sexualities any differently from those who identify solely as heterosexual. The British Psychological Society has published guidance which says as same-sex sexual orientations are not diagnosable illnesses, they do not require any, any therapeutic interventions to change them. The British Psychoanalytic Council states the BBC does not accept that a gay orientation is evidence of disturbance of the mind or in development. And so, I mean, there's the Royal College of Psychiatrists. I can go on and on and on. Um, are you not simply preying on people who are vulnerable, who might be confused about their sexuality, who might worry about it, who might be anxious about it? The point is we need to have checks and balances always, Aren't all of us on, on those both sides people? of the equation. We're not... There's no checks and balances on, on you because anybody could set up to be a counsellor. There are checks and balances there on me. You, you there know. You're not in a professional body. There certainly are. What are they? We are working through all sorts of organisations in what the US. What are the checks and balances? Well, in the US. W in the US. There's no recourse and for someone also in Britain in Europe. against a snake oil merchant like a you. A snake oil merchant. There you go again. Uh, Patrick. Your theories have been discredited. You've been thrown out of your professional body. You know, and here apart we from still the fact are that, apart from the fact that it doesn't work, direction. apart from the fact it that it does doesn't work, no apart, from, apart from the, the fact that it doesn't work, there is a much more severe, dangerous side to this. I have seen the harm it does. I have seen the self-harm scars on people that have been through this. I have heard the stories of people who have attempted suicide as a result of going through We're conversion We're not listening therapy. to the Sorry, voices. Can, I, can, when it, can you just finish? And what has led them to, to those extreme measures? Because when you go through conversion therapy, you are told again and again that there is something wrong with you, that you never. can change. And when it doesn't work, never. because it never does, People blame themselves and they feel, feel even worse. There's, there was a study done by clinical psychologists more than 10 years ago which found that the majority of people that go through conversion therapy suffer worsened mental health result. They suffer increased rates of depression, anxiety, self-harm and suicidal tendencies. And furthermore, two years ago, the, the head of the world's biggest conversion therapy organisation, <laughs> Alan Chambers from Exodus International, admitted it never worked he then apologised to gay people for the harm he had done and immediately shut down the okay. organisation. Um, the British government will not ban so-called com com gay conversion therapy. They say Correct. it would be complex as it could prevent lesbians, gay men and bisexual people from seeking counselling or therapy because they are distressed about an aspect of their sexuality. No, this is nonsense. Gay people go to therapists all the time who are unhappy being gay because, of course, we live in a homophobic culture. It's hardly surprising that people struggle coming to terms with that. And therapists deal with that all the time. They deal with it in a very good way by exploring how they feel, by allowing them to come to terms with who they are and accepting who they are. There needs the to fact be is, options we need things for in place people who to want protect to move people away from, from these dangerous charlatans. 
One, the first thing the government should do is introduce statutory regulation for, for, psychi for psychotherapists and counsellors so that you can't just set yourself up as a therapist like Mike here this and start charging people. This is a very unbalanced people. conversation. Can I respond to that? Of course you can. I think it's important to remember that the research that Patrick is cited, citing there by Shidlow and Schroeder was representing people who were already depressed and in a bad way before they began the therapy. And it made it worse. The methodology has been discounted so many times. We have asked for the peer-reviewed journals and evidence that show categorically, on, on average, that such therapeutic support is harmful and it has not been presented okay. because it doesn't exist. Love let me, let me, needs no cure. Bigotry needs a cure. <laughs> let me read these messages we're not bigoted. on social media. You are. No, we're not. Look in the mirror, Mike. No, you'll we're see not. a bigger and you'll see a no, gay man. No, we're not. Okay. Let me read these you messages. You want to impose a Thank label. You. Thank you. Let me you want to oppose your agenda you. on vulnerable people. Thank you. Thank you, Mike <laughs> Davison. Thank you, Patrick Strudwick. Let me read these messages on social media. Stephen Hughes on Twitter says, gay conversion therapy sounds disgusting and completely backwards. I'm certain a person doesn't wake up one day, look in the mirror and say, oops, I'm gay. I better sort that. It is truly shocking. Jane Booth on Twitter, these aren't therapists. Therapists should accept their clients, not brainwash them. This is disgraceful. Nat Com on Twitter, to ban this therapy is to treat gay people like children who can't oh, make yeah. decisions for and about themselves. And Angela on email, people have got this so wrong. Christianity is not about making anyone do anything. Christianity respects the choices people make and the idea that it is out to eradicate a group of people for their lifestyle choices is utterly untrue. Christians will help anybody who wants to stop a homosexual lifestyle only if that's what they want. And that's if right. they want it, shouldn't they be allowed to have it? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you both. Thanks for coming on the programme.